No, I have this great, it's probably one of my favorite talks I've ever done, actually. It's just like a 10, 15 minute talk at Burning Man where no one was the, like, the person just didn't show up and I had to go up there and riff. I was yeah. just killing it. And this is, this is the real thing is that the story of money is broken. I, like in general, in my opinion, mm -hmm. that like, you know, if you, you can have too many mangoes, you can have too many like pillows, you can have too many houses even, you know, these things have management costs but you can't have too much money. Imagine you have a mango tree in your backyard and it's in full bloom. You're never gonna eat these mangoes. They're just gonna rot on your garden, you know, in, on your, in your yard. You, you're gonna pick those mangoes. You're gonna give them to everybody who comes to your house. You're gonna drop them off on the, you want to give those mangoes away. If you had a money tree, you'd build a fence. You take all of that money for yourself. I mean, this is just the story of money. You can never have enough. And this causes so many problems. You know, I, I love Andreas's Antonopoulos is like, uh, there's four use cases of money. It's, uh, you know, store of value. It's something that you can hold and, and like save like a squirrel with a nut, right? It's a medium of exchange. It's something that you can use to get what you want. That's like it's generally accepted within your community. It's a unit of account, which like you can price a lot of things in the same unit and it's very com com it's very convenient that everything is priced in the same unit and then it's a system of control and that's andreas's andreas antonopoulos's uh addition and this is extremely pertinent in crypto because uh, these economic systems are incentivizing people to do stuff I and mean, if you really think about it a lot of the things that you do that you don't want to do you do for money it's uh it's it's really gross money's kind of yeah. gross and i like to and i like to add a fifth use case personally money is probably the best tool for destroying relationships <laughs> with people you know how many relationships with families and friends family members and friends have gone wrong because of money you know and it's just like it's this money just has this scarcity mindset built into it whenever you talk about it it's like you can't have enough it's like you're starving or thirsty you know you're hangry uh you know it's like oh no money and it's such a weird yeah. awkward thing um uh, and it doesn't have to be that way mm -hmm. it doesn't have to this is just the story of money that we are choosing to use and it's gotten us really far I don't want to pretend like m the money story is a, is a flawed thing. I mean, it has its flaws, but oh my God, does it work well with scarcity? Wow. It, it really helps when there's a scarce resource, it really helps distribute it. Money is amazing at that. Uh, but when you have non-excludable goods, when you have something that is, could be abundant for all, and suffers generally from the free rider problem. Think of the roads or taking care of the less fortunate of society or taking care of the environment. These things, money sucks at. The money story that we have is really bad at it. You know, when you're building public infrastructure, like imagine a bridge, you know, people will just walk across the bridge. If you make a crappy bridge and people get hurt, you're kind of a douchebag. <laughs> and, uh, you know, if you, instead uh, focus on building a good bridge. You know, you do some design validation. You don't just like write a white paper, go to Home Depot and say, I'm going to build a bridge. You, you, you build the bridge first in a computer. You mm -hmm. spend time designing, you know, and like validating your design and using the designs that other people have been using for, you know, a hundred years. They're like, oh, I mean, you remember the Tacoma Narrow Bridge, right? And it goes, mm -hmm. whoop, whoop, and then crashes like that doesn't happen anymore because all that is integrated into all the models that people build for bridges yeah and that system which is generally called token engineering hasn't matured in the crypto space yet so yeah. i don't know that we're ready to do like real public good economies public goods focused economies 